This is our first anchor stone. Measuring 11 feet in height, with four feet embedded in the ground, it is actually the largest and most beautiful anchor stone found to date. A tapered hole was drilled into the top of each anchor stone, a five inch opening on one side and a seven inch opening on the other, allowing a rope to be pulled through and a knot tied. It was designed to be lifted while in the water when it would weigh less, thereby preventing the top from breaking off. The most striking feature is the crosses that have been carved on the anchor stone. Early Christians came through this area and recognized these objects as biblical items from the ark. They carved crosses on these anchor stones, representing Noah and his family. The largest cross here represents Noah and is of the crusader style. The diamond shape with a cross above was Nimrod's sign when he was alive. The diamond represents the ark that he took credit for. Then the vertical line is the pathway to heaven, with the crossbar representing heaven. The Egyptians had an adaptation of this symbol called the Ankh. Smaller anchor stones or drogue stones can be found near the Mediterranean. This is one of the largest you will ever see outside the Noah's Ark area. The next anchor stone is partially buried in the ground with five crosses. The largest cross represents Noah. The next smallest, Mrs. Noah. Then the three smallest are the sons of Noah. At the bottom is a possible image of the Tower of Babel, which was built around 200 years after the flood by Nimrod and his rebellious followers. This particular stone has seven crosses, with the eighth having been removed at some point in time. This stone has a large cross representing Noah. The next smaller cross on the bottom left is Mrs. Noah. The next three smaller crosses represent the three sons. Then the three smallest represent the wives of the sons. This stone does not have any carvings on it, but it does have a hole drilled through the top. Other stones have been found buried, but they have no inscriptions. This stone had a hole drilled in the left side, then on the right, we can see ancient inscriptions. Vandals have broken this stone, but you can see where the hole once was in the top. Crosses have also been carved on this stone. Five crosses are on this anchor stone. And as we look at the top, we can see where the hole has been broken off. Outside the village of Kazan is a large object that has the appearance of petrified tree bark and with unusual characteristics. As far as we know, there's nothing else like this anywhere. Nobody's ever... My goodness. It's got crosses uh, that crosses? are very faintly carved on it. You got, a big, you got a big one here. You got a small one right there. One here. One here. They're, get, they're harder to see over here. And this is petrified wood? Well, it looks like it, Ron it? said he thought it was petrified bark. tree bark. Right. If you look at the, you ever see? It looks like a little bit like pine bark. It sounds like metal. Yeah, <laughs> what would the anchor stone be wood? wood this isn't an bark? anchor stone. Oh, oh, I see. This this was just like something that uh, was on the ark, right? Believe. Well, Ron <clears throat> theorized that this might have been the or part of the cover. You remember, at one point it says and. Uh, Noah came out of the ark and he took the cover off, or he yeah. threw the cover off. He, and of course that's just speculation, we don't have a way of knowing, but this is a rather unique thing. It has the appearance and the texture of some kind of a bark, but you know, it is stone. That is a gross. That is a gross. There you go. That is incredible. It has a very hollow sound. Very hollow. It sounds like metal. But it's just a, well, it's a, it's just, that's just harmonic. Right. right. Yeah. Harmonic resonance. You're right. Yeah. But I'm, okay, we'll not, not many stones that do that. Let's try it. <coughs> With the sun coming out. There's, well, I think there's eight crosses on it. We've been able to find seven. I think there's an eighth one up there.